Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong and welcome to the back office. Today we're going to be playing with one of the bits I had in my mystery box from China. And look, it's this little teeny teeny thing. I'm going to have to zoom in to have a proper look. Now, I can just about read it's called a PX double, uh, sorry, a PX zero double eight A and it's apparently a noise generator I see of some description. They come in different flavours, so I'm not sure what flavour this one is, but we'll certainly be sampling its bounteous taste in a moment. We need a few bits. I'm just thinking we do need a few bits for this. Um, we're going to give it a power source. I think it's 5 volt. I don't know what the voltage is and I have a brand new speaker here to try out. So just let's get the speaker ready. Let's start with the simple stuff. So there's our nice speaker. Put that there. Almost blew away the PCB there. Turn our soldering iron on. It is on. Bit of wire. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get ready to rumble. This is quite an interesting one, this, because it's just so random. It's definitely something out of a toy or something similar. We're going to hook up the speaker. Let's see if there's enough solder on there. Ooh, there was enough tin solder on there to sort of solder straight on there without even tinning our wires. It's uh, quite unusual that we're that lucky. And we certainly aren't lucky the second time round. <laughs> Let's tin that one. Come on. Come on, lad. Right, the speaker is done. Get that over there. So we're going to hook that up to the left-hand channel of our baby warmer. Uh, again, polarity is not that important in this project, but it's nice to sort of at least be consistent with your polarities, especially if you're going to use two speakers. Right, so that's the kind of essential stuff. Now this board, I'm going to get some more wire ready while we're thinking about it because this board's definitely going to need power. And I recall this is negative, the rightmost pin, and the positive is the leftmost pin. So we've got that going for us. And I believe the centre pin is output. And that's as far as I've got. So let's Let's steal some power from the baby boomer's contact here. A bit gentle. I'll just tin that. Urgh. I am doing it pretty, pretty shoddily, I have to admit. Right, so that's going to be positive, that's going to be negative, and that's going to be output. The reason I know that's output because that was going to the base of a transistor. If you're gonna if you're gonna make a very simple transistor amplifier that was that sort of hooked up to it in all the pictures I see the transistor hooked up there in the base so all your base are belong to me. Sugar. That was weird. It must be super hot it stayed really molten for ages. Right done. So that's our negative now going on. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what it's going to do. Will it say something in Chinese? I've got some uh, a camera, a DD Pi dash cam in my car that does that. It just sort of it says something in Chinese. Um, to much, much to everybody's amusement, really. Now, I don't know if we need a separate ground. We technically need an audio ground for a, a baby boomer, but. I might just not bother hooking one up and we'll see. There's probably enough signal in there without one. If not, we'll add one, not a problem. If you're doing it at home, of course, add the audio ground. And if you don't have a specific audio ground, just add your regular ground to the audio ground. So we're going to put this on the left channel. So we want to make sure it comes out the one we've actually got hooked up rather than the one we don't. go. That could technically just work if we turn that on, so okay. I don't know. Whoa. Fucking hell that scared me. That does not sound like a bird. I 
think I think it's supposed to be a bird because I read somewhere that something about birds. So that's that's why I kind of that's the base of our amplifier. I kind of feel we should almost just hook this. Uh, I, I don't know if it's got an amplifier. It, it almost sounds like it's so loud, it's so horrible that maybe um, it could just drive the speaker directly. I might just try. Okay. Come on, there we go. Although I might be, might be totally off the mark there. Oh yeah, you can kind of hear it. it is It is driving it directly, but quietly. It is just some sort of weird, like bird call, but it doesn't. It doesn't seem to have more than one one sound. I'll put it. I'll put it back into the uh, the baby boomer, but we might have to. If, if one was doing this properly, you'd attenuate that signal because it's sort of crazy. Uh, it's crazy loud. And it's really nasty. It's like a square wave or something. Hmm. So there you go. It's a horrible, screechy, nasty sound that makes my ears want to bleed. So that's of some use to you. I think you'll go out and make one of these. I might just put, I bought 10 of these. I'm going to put them on my shop, I think. We'll put them on the back office shop or we'll put them in the back office box. Um, and uh, yeah, that <laughs> you can you can sort of work out a better way to use it than I have. I'm just going to look, there we go. That's it there. It's all right, isn't it? There, I like the PCB. Just don't like the sound. So, if you're lucky and you buy this one, you'll have it. Lovely, pre-tinned goodness. Ow! <laughs> How many times do I have to do that to realise it's still not cooled down? <laughs> there we go. The PX088A horrible, horrible sound generator chip. As ever. Thanks for watching.